in our galleries we've created this incredible atmosphere and I don't know how I don't know how it's happened. We have fantastic people working with us. Our staff are fantastic and they add an emotional it's just a real emotional place. It, it all happened organically. People would like say, Did I buy one of your paintings? And you say yes, and then somebody else would say that, and then we'd say, Well, should we have a show? I mean, because I have no background in art college or anything. It's like, you know, should we put on a show? And I, I didn't even know what that meant. And it sort of like we said it just sort of grew. And the early days, no gallery would look at me at all. They would say, you know, it's not for us, and that was fine. So we had to think of other ways. So we've done always everything ourselves. I have no idea how you're meant to do things in the art world. No idea. I just did what we do. And, but in saying that, I think that our ignorance and my ignorance saved us a lot because we just did it a different way. If I'd have been going through this supposedly in the normal way of doing things, I wouldn't have gone anywhere. And also, don't forget, I, I had no other job at the time. I had to go and see if, what would happen if I did this. And just sort of grew and, and, and happened along the way. And then, you know, we had one, sh like we had maybe two shows a year. And then we didn't have enough paintings to have two shows. And they'd be like one show. And then it'd be like, well, we can't have a show, but we'll try and do like a pop-up gallery in Belfast. Just a, it was more like an experiment. And then the pop-up we did for a few years. And then we thought, well, what would have our own gallery? Oh my God, it's a huge step. So I was bricking it, you know. So it's just, you know, what does confidence say, you know, go of course, and then a few beers involved and say, God, that's a good idea, you know, let's do that. Next day, think, shit, what have I done here, you know? And then we've opened like a small gallery office, and then we opened another one, and then we moved to a bigger one, and then we thought, well, wouldn't it be good to have something in Belfast again? Look, you know, we we'll pop up and have our, our main gallery in Bangor and have a Belfast pop up just for a bit of sparkle. So we did that, and then it, it was very, very popular and busy as well, and it's just gone on. And what's happening, I don't know what's happening. It's a, as I said, it's a cultural thing that's organic. There's no plan to this. We always play catch up because you can't plan something like this because it's not, it's more than some of its parts. I used to be able to go into the galleries early before people went in and look around and change the windows. I used to change the window every single day. I used to love you know, like moving things around. And then it got to the point where there'd be, there'd be people at the door at opening time and I'd, I'd have to run in the back again. And then uh, I would sneak out when they're not in and then it all started joining up with there was people everywhere at all times. And I would almost, it's the point now where I would probably go at night time and open the door and go in so I could look around. And it's bizarre, it's a strange thing. It's like stepping into somebody else's life, into my own gallery. Take some nerve to walk into a gallery and go, yes, I'm here, look at art. We put motorcycles in there in our gallery as well because I want to diffuse the whole thing about, you know, it's highbrow art. It's it's nice art and powerful art, and I love that, but I want to make people comfortable walking in there so they go, well, there's big in there, it's quite big, I can go to that corner there. And also, like, you know, all the people who work for us, a lot of them don't have any gallery background. So they're, they're, there's no baggage, there's no, snobbery or uncomfortableness, they, they are there to help. We open seven days a week because uh, it's not a business thing, it's a, I want there to be somewhere to go. That was a very personal uh, decision by me, for me in the, in the first place, but also for other folks who would feel like me and go, well, I can go there, we can drive there. I remember, you know, for a long time there, if I was painting on the studio all day and all weekend, all night, you, just, you can get in a bit of a rut. And I love the idea of just going somewhere and putting the art in there and then sneak into the background and people will be able to walk in and look at that. And I wanna I wanna inspire them and, and make them smile and make them think and it was fantastic. And I just love sneaking paintings in, going, wonder what how that's gonna how they're gonna react to that. And that's that was fantastic. I love that. And I love that part of it. The galleries have turned out exactly the way I would want them to be. 
because um, we've had people walk in there who with other people or with partners and they weren't as they weren't there for the art they weren't as fast and who between walking through the door and like half an hour later or, or walking out with a piece of work or saying you know god I, I really like i really like it in here and they would say that not even sometimes you know i love that painting there or the paintings are lovely i like it in here and that's fantastic because that's the people staff you know the decor they create that atmosphere